Hi, I'm Emma, a certified Dubsado specialist. In today's video, we're going to go over Dubsado's client portal and how to customize it with your branding. To get started, Dubsado's client portal is basically one place where you house all the documents and information about your client's project and you share that with them. And the way to activate a portal is either through a workflow, it's one of the steps in a workflow, or you can activate it manually. So to do it manually, you come inside of a project like I am right now, and you scroll down to where it says portal, and then you activate it. Once the portal is active, the next thing you have to do is let the client know. And you can use smart fields to let the client send the client the portal link and the portal password. And you can also come here and click send, and it will send them an email with their login information. So I want to show you what the portal looks like from the client's end. So this is the login page. It's going to have a logo, your logo, and then your client's simply going to punch in their, their password that you shared with them to log in. Once you're inside your portal, this is what you're going to see. This is what your client's going to see, really. Um, so there's summary tabs here with business information. So that's my business information. It shares it with them unread emails that the client has, incomplete forms, and open invoices. So in this case, their incomplete form is the contract that they haven't signed and their open invoice. And here in the project tab, it's going to share the current project that they have with you. This is the start date of the project, again, the invoice, the contract, and the proposal that they've already completed. Here is an email, the, all the thread, the email threads that you have going with the client. And here is their profile information. This is the information that they have filled out in forms and shared with you. Other items that can show up inside of the portal are appointments. This specific project doesn't have appointments set right now, but they would show up here. Any appointments, uh, upcoming appointments or um, appointments that have been completed will show up inside of the portal as well. What will not appear inside of the portal are your project notes, call logs, and to do like tasks that you have not shared with the client. If you have shared tasks, those will show up here. But if it's just something for you to see that you have not shared with the client, it will not show up in the portal. The next question is how do you customize the portal to match your branding? And that's done inside of the settings in Dubsado. So let's go back to Dubsado. You're going to go to settings, the gear icon up here, and you're going to go to your portal. The first thing you can do is to customize the welcome message. It can say welcome to your client portal, or you can write something else, or you can hide it all together. In my case, I've decided to hide it because in my portal banner, there is already wording in there, so I don't want it to show up because it would overlap with the image. The next thing is you can decide for it to not say projects. So you can write something else like documents or something. It's basically what shows up here. So if you don't want it to say projects, you can say something else. Um, you can upload a portal specific logo. So if you want like a different variation of your logo to appear, or if the logo that Dubsado has is a darker, is like a dark blue, and then your, your banner is also dark blue. So you want to upload a white version of your logo. So there's enough contrast. So it's visible. You would do that over here, or you can hide it all together, which is what I've done. Uh, here you upload a portal banner, so this one's for desktop, and then you have one for mobile. Um, just keep in mind that when designing your banners, the right-hand side of the banner, especially on, on desktop, it can get cut off depending on the device that you're on, and we'll look at that later. So just keep in mind and put you know, anything important that you want to necessarily appear on your banner on the left-hand side of the design so it does not get cut off. Here is the portal banner color, and that's going to appear only if you do not have an image. So it's just going to have a solid color instead of anything else. So that's this color. Um, the portal banner font color is the mess, the color of the welcome message and the color of the logout link. So let's go back to a portal. Because I am not showing a welcome message, um, you you can't tell, but I made it black just so that you could see this logout link. The next item is the portal summary header color. And that's this one over here. So that going back to the portal or is this color over here. 
The one underneath it, the portal summary header font color, is what is on top of this banner color. So just make sure that you have enough contrast between the two colors so that it's visible, this text is visible to the client. One more thing with the portal settings are the links and the embed code. So this is the code that you share with your clients so that they can log into the portal. You don't have to copy and paste this link. By using the smart field, it will share this link using that smart field um, with them. So when you send them the smart field of the portal link and their portal password, this is the portal link that the system is sending them. Then if you want to embed your portal login into your website, you simply insert this into a code block on your website. And then you have a spot in your website where your clients can come to to log into their portal. So now I'm going to teach you how to create your custom portal banners inside of Canva. So in Canva, you're going to create a design with a custom size of 1800 times 200 pixels. And here, you're basically going to create something that matches your branding. Uh, the only recommendation I have is that anything that you want to make sure is seen is on the left hand side of the banner because the right hand side can get cut off on different devices. So I'm going to make two different designs. So one of them I'm just going to use several images and then one I'm going to use one image and because of the size of this design it's pretty wide and not very tall um, images are going to get cut off so what do I mean by that so let's say if I use this image here it's going to look pretty wonky so the best thing that you can do if you're going to use one image as a background is to use something like a pattern so here this one is going to work well. And place, like I said, place any image that you want to make sure your clients see on the left hand side. So for this other design, I'm going to use several images. And so let me find some images. I already pre selected some images here. So that's basically how you could create a design with several images or one with a single image. And again, you can customize this, you can play with it, do whatever you know you want. You can use, you know, um, icons, you can use patterns, you can use different elements that Canva has. So play around and use your branding, your color, your fonts. What if you have images, you can use those as well. Until um, you find something that works great for you. And then the next step is going to be to download the image. So I'm just going to download the second one here. And you can download it as a PNG or as a JPEG. So either of these will work. So I'm just going to download it as a PNG file. Once you've downloaded your image, the next step is you can come to tinyjpeg.com and upload your image here to compress it a little bit before you bring it into Dubsado. Once you've downloaded the image, you're gonna come into your portal settings in Dubsado and you're gonna upload that image in your portal banner. And once you've uploaded it, just hit save. And now we're gonna see what it looks like. So I've logged into my client portal again. I've swapped out that image that I had before with this one. So this is what it would look like on a desktop. To see what the banner looks like on mobile, all you're going to do is right click and hit inspect. And here you can toggle between different devices. So if I go to a Surface Pro, it's going to select the desktop banner, which is what we had designed in Canva. If you go to iPhone, it's going to pick the mobile banner that I have already in Dubsado. So that's how you can kind of see where your image is getting cut off or just get an idea of what it's going to look like on different devices. So create a design in mobile. All you're going to do is do the same thing that we did for desktop, but the dimension is going to be different. It's going to be 700 times 400 pixels. So it's more of a rectangular design. It's not so long and short. So you can use a single image as a background pretty well for that one. But again, you play around in Canva and find what works best for you and matches your branding. That's it for today. I hope you found this video useful.
Uh, if you need more support setting up Dipsado in your business, you can book a free discovery call with me to learn more about how I can help you. Go to www.emmaketirai.com, the link is below, slash call, and book a free 30-minute discovery call with me.